Welcome to Fun with Drilling Engineering. Drilling a very deep borehole is a huge project, and there's of course a lot to consider and to plan. But all the planning is based on just three pieces of information. We need to know the final depth of the well, the final diameter of the well at the target depth, and the geological profile of the area where we want to drill. From this three information, we can get everything else. Here, we have an imaginary geological profile. In this profile, we can easily draw our borehole with its final depth and diameter. That is the blue pipe you can see behind me. Now we have to take a deeper look at our geological profile and look for formations, which could become unstable along our well path while drilling from the top to bottom. Each time the well needs to be secured, we have to install a casing and this finally results in the so-called borehole construction with all the casing we can see here. For each casing, we also have to calculate how stable it needs to be so that it can withstand the pressure of the surrounding formation and will not collapse. In this process, we select the material of each casing string and the required wall thickness. When this is done, we calculate how heavy these pipes will be. This will help us determine the required hook load for the drilling rig we want to rent. We need to ensure that the drilling rig can handle all the expected loads, which can easily range in the area of several hundred tons. When that's done, we look again at the geological profile to estimate the maximum pressures which can occur in the borehole while drilling. This depends on the pressures of the fluids which are found in the pores of the rock, gas, water or oil. These calculations result in the required pressure level for the blowout preventer, which is placed on top of the borehole and in case of danger can close the well at any time. Next, we think about which particular drilling mod we will use to drill each borehole section. The drilling mod has to support the open hole section so that it will not collapse during drilling operations. The drilling mod has to carry the curtains from the drill bit to the surface to clean the hole. The mod also has to prevent oil, gas, and water in the formation from entering into the borehole. At the same time, the drilling mod must not react to the formation, causing it to swell or become unstable. The mod program for the well is therefore directly derived from the geological profile. It includes the kind of properties of the mods we will use, how much mod we will need, which flow rate will be delivered for cleaning the curtains from the borehole. And finally, we can calculate the required horsepower for the mud pumps on the well site, which we'll use to circulate the drilling mud through the borehole. Eventually, for each borehole section, we'll have a drilling string. The drill string has to transmit torque from the rig to the drill bit and pass it onto the bottom of the hole with optimum force. And of course, the drill string needs to have a, the right drill bit available to achieve a high rate of penetration in the formation we want to drill. So again, the design of the drill string is derived from the geological profile. At the end, in the planner's book, we always ask the question, how long will this operation take? And above all, what will it cost? Most of the equipment we need for drilling the deep borehole, for example, the drilling rig, the rig crew, the tools and the drill string, are all on rented basis daily rates matter and that's why the saying time is money is really appropriate here whatever goes wrong and creates trouble and lost time will lead to high unexpected cost so careful planning will certainly pay off in the end if we have our planning well done there's a high chance we'll get an optimal borehole optimal means that the drilling operation is performed safely within anticipated time and cost and that the well fulfills its purpose, for example, to produce oil or gas. It is quite a complex undertaking, but we explain all aspects to our students in our lectures. We are happy to see you here in Freiburg. Come to Freiburg. We look forward to see you. Look off.